The Phase 1 works is um, everything west of the concert hall. This includes the Corn Exchange, the Studio Theatre, the Church Street Foyer, the ticket office of number, uh, number 29 on the New Road, and a new infill building that can connects all those spaces together. It's an incredibly complicated project. Uh, it involves restoring and enhancing a Grade 1 listed building, a Grade 2 listed building, a new building that is completely surrounded by other buildings and dealing with all kinds of problems that have occurred over the last two centuries of the life of this building. It's a really exciting challenge. The most appealing thing about the project is it's one of a kind. Yeah, there's, there's no other space like the Corn Exchange. And the importance of this building to Brighton is that it was the first building of the Regency culture in Brighton. And it's a fantastic building. It's the widest span timber frame building in the country. It served all kinds of purposes over the years, from a riding stables through to a corn exchange, through at one point people were using it for roller skating, Victorian roller skating, and eventually it became a performance venue for the Brighton Dome and Festivals Trust. And adjacent to it, we have a small theatre that was built in the 1930s, which is a delightful little studio theatre. Unfortunately, neither of the spaces have sensible foyers. No, none of them have adequate toilets and they don't have really good places to have a drink in the interval. So all of those facilities are what we're providing in between these two theatre spaces. Visitors will primarily the, come through the ticket office entering that space, they'll, they'll come into the new foyer building. One of the main aims has been connecting that space with the Corn Exchange, using the bars and the circulation space around there audience will, whether they're visiting the studio or the corn exchange, will, will get glimpses of, of these spaces as they, they enter. What appealed to us most was, the, was this building, was the corn exchange building. And somehow seeing this interior of this space restored, and we're beginning to see it now as we've ripped out all the layers of, of chaos and that people have applied to it over the years, and you can see what an extraordinary building it is.